the numeration model is is basically communities collecting data for themselves in the way they understand themselves. It's very different when communities are giving data about themselves to a fellow community person. It's very different when they're giving data to a professional person. And even just the balance of you as a professional person interviewing somebody to fill an enumeration form is very different. Because on one hand, you're, you're, you're probing to understand. But then on the other hand, you're probing to get good, accurate data, which is very different. When communities are collecting data amongst themselves, they're not being driven by the things that drive professionals. You're not probing. You're not probing for accuracy. You're, you're probing for, for reality, exactly. All right. and, um, and I remember that was always a conviction that I always had that um, how do I stop myself, Irene, from the things that I want to hear or the things that I, I want and allow what communities, where the direction the voice of communities wants to go. One of the frustrations I always had with enumerations is when professionals would say that the data is not accurate enough or the margin of error is too high. And, and sometimes that pressure can, it, it, it can be very bad pressure because it can pressure a professional who doesn't understand what you're doing. It can pressure you to think that you have failed or it can pressure you to think that communities didn't give you a good report. So you begin to fault communities, but it's not the communities that are at fault. Sometimes communities just don't want to give data. They feel that that is the, our preserve. It's, it's not yours, it's, it's our preserve and we protect it. I remember being put in, in that hard space once seated at the World Bank office and, and I'm being told that my data is bad or my data is, is, um, is not usable. And then you're, you're, and you're recounting that data is not numbers. Data is a process. It's, it's, even just being able to get this information of 10 households, there's somebody who negotiated with different levels of that political economy. And sometimes it's not even us, it's, it's the communities themselves being able to, to go to the headman and negotiate for days on end, please allow us to collect this information. If that guy agrees, you go to another level of, of power and they agree and they agree. So by the time then somebody, you come into a place to discuss this data and somebody is telling it's not accurate enough, we are not going to compromise because this data has more value it has more political value than it has um, uh, economic value because I mean the other people on the other table are looking at it from the point of economic value. How do we convince the world? But for us, because then our interest in our, our, our values are based on what communities want to give. I guess you can never force somebody to give you information. And if they feel that that information is not what they want to give you at that time because it's not important, then that's, that's it. Then it means then that you who has come then you need to, to begin to understand that maybe what you thought was a priority is not the priority for them. So there, there are all these salient real issues about communities that always felt that the other side of the world doesn't understand and we were always judged from the same template that other research organizations are judged and therefore we would never pass anything. Our, our data would never look like it can move anywhere, but which was fine. I guess the idea was not to dwell on those politics, because if you dwell in those politics, then you find yourself then going back to force people to give you accurate data, you know? And in doing that, if you force them, then you, 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 you compromise your relationship, because you're going back to tell them, oh, you don't trust us now, you know? So it, it's a very, it's such a thin line. The good data from the Federation is, is almost compounded, so you can't take it all from a form of enumeration. So there's what you can get from enumeration, but then you have to fill it up with many other sources of information. And sometimes those sources of information is, is reflection. Sometimes communities want to just sit and just reflect. Let's talk about where we are from. Let's talk about what we did yesterday. Let's talk about what we want to do. 
and by, by, by being able to be part of, which is really a privilege as well, to be part of those conversations, then you begin to understand this data that you've just collected. You begin to understand why people are not willing to give data, certain data. There's also the, the profiles, that then you'll, you'll, you'll ask different people the histories of the settlement, because different people have different histories of a settlement, because then you have different generations in a, in a, in a, in a settlement. So, so you have federation data that comes from different sources, and, and that can then begins to give that database of enumeration more meaning. So, so I guess then part of presenting that kind of data, it's almost like you're presenting part of the skeleton to somebody who doesn't understand but that person is probably needs to come and interact with the Federation more to begin to understand that. Because then the other form of data is when, for instance, you're, you're, you're just about to start an initiative in a community. And that's where, again, real data comes from, it comes out, because then you begin now to interact with the different strata of power within a settlement. You begin to interact with the different emotions of communities as well, because communities have different emotions regarding a certain intervention. So again, that becomes also another source of another source of real data. Federation data is always real. I mean, it's it's real time. It's it's real. Um, what you thought you knew yesterday has changed today because something different has happened overnight that begins to change that whole um, architecture of the settlement.